Welcome to Space Engine, everybody. Today we're gonna go to real nebulae because we've done black holes and we did, I visited ex real exoplanets before. Anyway, some cool nebulae suggested by chat. So if you're watching on YouTube, you should come to the Twitch live streams and then you can be the one telling me where to go and have all the power. So here's what the night sky looks like at this time of year for someone who lives in America. And let's see if we can see any nebulae. Um, well, inside, so like this band here of, we're looking into the Milky Way and I bet we'll be able to see some. Here's one. What is this one? The Eagle Nebula. The Eagle Nebula is the one that has the pillars of creation, right? Crab Nebula. Okay, we'll go there next. Let's go to this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. so. Here is the pillars of creation, which they don't look nearly as good in this game as they do if you look at like the Hubble picture of it. OK, this is not that exciting of one. I'm not going to lie. I feel like the real pictures of it look amazing. Here's the Crab Nebula. I think what's the angle we look at this one from Earth? Go to Orion Nebula. It's my favorite. That's my favorite. Oh, OK. Why do they look so bad in this game? <laughs> Some of them look better than others. The Orion Nebula looks really good in this game. So here, this is how I want to show it. We're getting towards the winter, right? If you're watching this when the video comes out. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere in the winter, you can see Orion earlier in the night. Yeah, there it is. I want you guys to do this. Next time you're out stargazing, if you look up and see Orion and you'll be able to see it from these, uh, you'll find these three stars that are connected and then these like four stars on the outside. This is the Orion constellation. It's like the easiest constellation to see, I swear. Down here, just below these three stars, you'll see if you have binoculars, you should use them. It'll almost look like a tiny little cloud right here, but it's actually a nebula. And if you have a telescope, you should you should point it here and look at that. So there's a nebula right here. This is the easiest one to like point out in the sky, I think. Here it is. And what's uh, there's this nebula too next to it, I guess all this stuff. But here's the actual Orion Nebula. Very, very cool. Is that Horsehead right here? That looks like the Horsehead Nebula. Horsehead Nebula. Yeah, okay, this is it right here. Okay, next Nebula, Hourglass Nebula. Whoa, okay, this one looks cool in the game. Oh, this is the one that looks like an eye. The view is like, it's lined up like this. You can kind of see the eye in here. Butterfly Nebula. Okay, these ones look all sad. One thing to note is Space Engine is actually better at showing you procedurally generated things than real things because it can make up the detail. I've said this before, but it's definitely true. And I think these nebulas apply too. This is a procedurally generated, which means it's not real. Space Engine just puts it here to fill in the space. And you can see there's more detail on it. And then we were going to try the Calabash Nebula. Whoa, whoa, it looks like a bottle. What does this one actually look like? I saw a comment a while ago, which I think is cool. Before we knew Andromeda was a galaxy, uh, we thought it was a nebula because we couldn't see it that well. Are there, is there anything big enough that we know is real? Like, do we have any real discovered nebulae in Andromeda? But stuff like this is really cool. And it even has stars inside of it, which could have planets on it. Here's a planet inside of a nebula inside Andromeda in a three star system. I want to see orbit lines here. So we have that planet orbiting these two stars and i'm guessing these two stars are binary oh okay look i see look how close these are okay i don't know if this is realistic because stuff like this i think they would rip each other apart very cool so there's two stars there orbiting each other and then also orbiting that is another star and that planet's all mixed up in that ghost nebula whoa is it because it looks like a ghost i see it it looks like a person if these look like, these are the arms here and here and then the feet Whoa, okay, these look so much cooler in real life, dude. Cat's eye. Whoa, this does look cool. I've seen pictures of this one. Very, very cool. This is like almost out by itself. Look, the entire Milky Way is up here. And this is all the way down here. Is there anything inside of it? There could be, but Space Engine didn't put anything in there. You should go there. Well, in real life, if we go to Earth and then lock onto the Cat's Eye Nebula, 3,600 light years. If I left right now going the speed of light, it would take me 3,600 years to get there. You can see it from Earth. There it is, that little purple thing. Am I just like seeing things, but doesn't this look like a monster here? The two eyes and an arm. Do you know what the speed of light is? What, in meters per second? It's like 
I don't want to guess because I'm going to be wrong. 300 million. It's 300 million meters per second. Is that... It's almost exactly that. That's what I said, right? Or did I say 3 million? I almost got it, right? Could you go to the Helix Nebula? Helix. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa. This one's really famous, too. I wonder how they put them in the game. Like, do they take a picture and then try to 3D render it somehow? Looks like the Eye of Sauron. Kind of, yeah. It does. Boomerang Nebula. Looks like a boomerang. Your Mom Nebula. It's, oh, it's not in the game. Please do Red Rectangle. Whoa! Red Rectangle is a very fitting name. It looks like a lens flare. Like, it looks like there's a star here and this is like the lens. But that's crazy that it actually looks like that. Pick the nearest nebula to the Alpha Centauri system. Nearest nebula that's real? So, which one is it? Probably this one. The California Nebula, guys, is the closest, I think. That's kind of boring looking. Red Spider? I saw that when I was searching Red Rectangle. Here's the red spider. Is this supposed to look like a spider? It doesn't. Does the real picture look like a red spider? Uh, more so, yeah. Southern Crab Nebula's peak? Is that different than the Crab Nebula? Is there the Southern Crab Nebula? Oh, there is. Learn new things all the time. This is cool. Whoa. Very, very cool. And what is... What's green? What am I seeing that's green? Is It looks bugged. It's trying to do Aurora Borealis. Like, is there magnetic field stuff going on here? I don't know what this is. I wanted to see the nebula from the surface of a planet. This is very mountainous, hilly. There it is. Look at that, that's cool. Can mountains like this happen? Are is there anywhere on earth where the mountains are this like? Cause isn't it like, it's like the tectonic plates, you know, the geology or whatever. I'm not a geologist, probably not. How would there be this many mountains? There's also a storm here. Like the whole planet is mountains. The planet is probably huge. Diameter is 1.2 times the diameter of Earth. It's not that much bigger than Earth. Twin jet nebula. Or the wings of a butterfly nebula. Ooh. A lot of them have like a center point and then there's like jets coming out. What causes that? This is procedurally generated, but the star inside has a planet with life, with subglacial life, which is the most boring kind, but Still, technically, the game thinks it has life. Uh, so cool. Karina Nebula. Okay. If you watched my video of me trying to find Earth while stranded in space, this one was so helpful. Okay, this one looks really good in Space Engine. Most of them don't look this good. This is the easiest nebula to see if you're out here in space. So, like back in my video, if you're out in the Milky Way, you can still see the Carina Nebula. It's like the brightest spot. And then we use this to find Earth. Get your Pluto Hate Club merch at spacechipyt.com. Yeah! Omega Nebula. Okay, last nebula. Whoa! Excellent pick. Look at this. Wait, it looks so different in the pictures. A lot of the pictures look different from each other based on, I guess, what telescope used. It looks cool in the game, though. So that was some real nebulae in Space Engine, suggested by chat. Once again, go to the link in the description and follow me on Twitch, and you can be here next time. If there's any nebulae that you really like that I missed, let me know in the comments. Also, type in the comments what your favorite nebula is. Mine's Orion. Thank you for watching. Like the video, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.